chance you've checked out the EarthCam website. It's got stationary cameras pointed at popular tourist destinations around the world. And one woman is very lucky that someone was watching the feed from Key West. She was being sexually assaulted, and that eagle-eyed viewer got help for her from 1,600 miles away. It's a global phenomenon. From the comfort of your living room, you can watch live streams of Bourbon Street in New Orleans. And this is such a good commercial, right? Such a good commercial for, for uh, cameras, right? You see how good it is to have cameras everywhere? Yeah. Or the legendary Abbey Road pedestrian crossing in London. Or the beach in Rio de Janeiro. Or up your ass in your toilet uh, in the house. <laughs> we'll put a camera in your toilet too. Or the beach in Rio de Janeiro and dozens of other famous locations around the world. There's a live stream camera here in Times Square. Fantastic. You can stand right here, call up your mom and dad, tell them to go to the EarthCam website, and there you are waving hello from the Big Apple. What did they say? Uh, those who sacrificed their, f what is it? Their freedom for security deserve neither, right? Because this is what we're doing now. Sacrificing freedom, you know, not being watched every single second of your life for some security, you know? Listen, this is a good thing that they catch this motherfucker. But should we sacrifice our freedoms for, for things like that? You know, life is dangerous. It is. Live and in real time. There's also a famous Earth Cam in Key West, trained on the monument that marks the southernmost point of the continental U.S. Day or night, the webcam sees all. Now the webcam has even caught a sexual attack as it took place. You can see the suspect dragging his victim behind the monument. A few moments later, she stumbles away. And get this, a guy watching the Key West webcam saw it unfold live. He lives in Boston, 1,600 miles away. He immediately called Key West police. I'm actually calling from Boston, but bear with me, this is going to sound crazy, but I'm at work and I had the, uh, you know, the southernmost web point cam. Yeah. I Why is he so calm, though? The guy calling. I'm at work, chilling. I just want to say, you know, somebody's getting raped over there, you know. Wouldn't you be a little bit more urgent? Like, hey, listen, check out that fucking camera in, near the beach. Somebody's getting raped. Now, check it out now. This guy is like. Immediate police. I'm actually calling from Boston, but. Bear with me, this is going to sound crazy, but... Who gives a fuck where you ca calling from? Why is that important? Bear with me, this is going to sound crazy, but... I'm at work, and I had the, uh, you know, the southernmost web point cam? Something weird with this phone call. This is going to sound crazy. Why is that going to sound crazy? Just give them the information they need to hear. Somebody's getting great. This is gonna sound crazy, but I'm at work, you know, and I have, you know, the, you know, the south uh, most point cam. Oh, yeah, 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 I know that one. Like cam? Yeah. I could almost swear that I saw somebody get raped. The police report says the something weird. The long distance 911 caller happened to be watching the webcam at the time of the incident. It looked like she was fighting. She fell flat on her face. We were able to log into the cam and provide that uh, video to the police department and the state's attorney's office. Cops arrested the assailant, Carrie Gossick, an Uber driver. Justice served in Key West, thanks to an eagle-eyed citizen watching all the way up in Boston. The suspect pled guilty to sexual battery and just yesterday was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Anyways. You know how easy this could be faked <laughs> if it was fake. I'm not saying it is fake, but, you know, if they want to have a, a, you know, a good promotion for having cameras out there, they could just stage this whole thing with those two. Those two could be actors for all I know, you know, make it look like something is going on and then have a caller say that he called in. 
I don't know. Or it could be real, but you know, you never know. With e with evil, you never know. Evil can do a lot of things.